Hello everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Now this is the beginning of summer here in Brussels, Belgium, and after months of rain we finally had some warm days with plenty of sun for the last couple of days. And all my houseplants are experiencing a burst of growth because of this. But since this is basically a philodendron channel, I wanted to show you today 9 philodendrons that are just so happy that it's summertime that they just can't stop growing. So let me put these 9 fast growers in the spotlight today. First up is this philodendron Burley Marks variegata. And the old leaves do show a very nice variegation, but recently the growth on this guy has just exploded with lots of new leaves showing up. But whereas the old leaves here are variegated, the new ones so far are just plain green. And I have to say, I don't mind this at all, because I know that the variegation on this plant is not stable. And let's face it, how could I be mad with a plant that gives me so many new growing points and also new leaves. So I don't think that I will cut this guy back in order to get this beautiful variegation once again. When I bought this philodendron Red Sun, I didn't know what to expect. But from the start, this philodendron has lots of spots on its leaves. And this has continued with every new leaf that it has produced since then. And because each new leaf has become more and more red, these spots give a different look on each leaf. Which I actually like, but I should probably do some research about these weird spots. It might be a deficiency or a disease, although I have to say it hasn't contaminated any nearby plants just yet. This here is a Philodendron Mediza, which is a Belgian cultivar of the Philodendron Painted Lady. This is a cutting from the mother plant that I'm growing in Pon, a substrate that many Philodendrons gladly accept to grow in. On the right you can see its newest leaf with some nice apple green and also reddish variegation. Now I like this plant a lot because it also has a red stem and red petioles. And just like the original, the painted lady, this philodendron Mediza is an unstoppable grower once it gets warmer. Ok, philodendron number 4 is this philodendron golden dragon. Now all of its leaves still have the baby shape, so I will show you some adult leaves from my mother plant right here to get the true dragon's head shape of the adult leaves of this plant. Once again I am growing this cutting in pom, in a semi-hydro system container that I should replace because it's obviously way too small for a plant of this size. Now the good thing about a golden dragon philodendron is that it is an incredibly resilient plant. It is super easy to propagate, it is an extremely fast grower and it's one of the best performing shapeshifters, meaning that each new leaf can have a totally different form. And by the way, the top part of this plant seems to lean downwards, but this is only because I just attached it to a taller stick to support it. Way smaller than the previous plant is this philodendron pink princess toddler, growing in soil but also in a semi-hydro system. And to my surprise, most of the leaves, including the new ones, do have some pink in them. And what's funny about this pink princess is that from the start, it's split up in three different branches, which explains why this small plant has quite a lot of leaves already. In my experience, pink princesses are not the fastest growing philodendrons, but this guy here is definitely going to outgrow its container pretty soon. Let's move on with something way bigger. This here is the Philodendron White Princess. It's actually two cuttings that I took from my mother plant that are growing in one and the same container. 
and when it comes to variegation, the White Princess is 100% stable, at least in my experience. Each new leaf is a different painting in white and green, and this is also a notoriously fast-growing philodendron. Even the stem of this plant is variegated, and when the sun touches the leaves, they really show their true colors. This white princess is very easy to propagate, and since these guys once again have outgrown their stick, I will probably propagate them in order to have some new and also free plants. So if you can, definitely try to get your hands on a white princess. Ok, it's time now for the most classy philodendron, which is obviously the philodendron patriciae. This here is the smaller one out of the two specimens that I currently own. And the Philodendron Patriciae is actually quite low maintenance, at least in my experience, and it's also a very fast climber. Now both the specimens that I own of this plant have a weird thing in common. Apart from the main stem, both plants developed a second stem, almost like a spare, which is really intriguing to me, but perhaps it's just a coincidence. And as you can see, I will have to provide this philodendron pretty soon with a moss pole. This philodendron plomaniae, it's the citrus variegation one, has only one golden rule. It never has more than three leaves at the same time. So currently it has decided that it's time to produce a third leaf. And upon closer inspection I think it's going to be a pretty big one. Now what I find also striking about this plant is the white and green pattern on the petioles. And these petioles by the way are impressively long and also ruffled. Anyway, I have a standalone video about this guy on my channel that you can check out if you feel like it. Last but not least, I want to show you one of my four philodendron squamiferums. An eye-catching philodendron, also a good shapeshifter when it comes to the leaf shape, but mainly attractive because of its fuzzy petioles. Now the petioles on the older leaves are plain green, but the petioles on the new leaves come out red and turn green over time. Like almost all philodendrons, this guy is very easy going and fast growing, and currently they are quite cheap, at least in my country, Belgium. Ok, that's all for these 9 philodendrons that clearly heard the call of summer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and or subscribe to my channel. I have many more philodendrons eagerly waiting to store in a next video. For now, I thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you back soon on my channel. Bye bye.